Hi, welcome to Crafting at Home with Tully. My name is David and today we're going to be making these absolutely lovely butterflies made using coffee filters and a little bit of water. That's basically all you need. So I'll very quickly run through what we need for this. There's not a lot of stuff, but they do look really, really pretty. So you'll need two coffee filters. Now these ones, they fold out into a wee circle, they're just folded because it's easier. So I'll fold out. Two circular coffee filters are fine. A load of marker pens. And a pipe cleaner. You'll also need some water. And just so you don't get water absolutely everywhere. A tray, a basin. I'm using a big blue tray today. But uh, you can use... A wash basin, you could even just use a small plastic box or something like that, as long as you get permission before you do that. Now, the first thing you actually need to do for these is just get ready to decorate them. So I'll move those bits out of the way. Now, if you're wanting to do like this one here, what I did was you can see that this top one slightly brighter colours than the bottom one. So I drew on the top one while it was sitting on the other one, and then I put the water on both. You obviously don't have to do that. For the next one, I'm actually gonna do two different designs, and we'll see how it goes. But that's one way you can do it. This way, you fold out your coffee filters, and you can start drawing on them. So I'm gonna do a nice spiral in the center, and you can actually see how the ink starts to bleed into the filter straight away, which is actually really, really useful. That's what we need it to do. I'm going to draw wiggly lines. Now you'll have a lot more time to do this than me. So mine is going to be a little bit of a speedy job. So I'm just going to draw lines and shapes and things. But if you want to draw a picture right, and see what happens when you put water on it, that would be an amazing thing to do. We'll do a few more bits on this one and then I'll get on to the other one because I don't want you to have to spend all your time watching me colour in. Like I said, you'll have plenty more time than I do to do these properly and make them look really nice. But do make sure when you're doing it, use quite a few colours and fill in as many gaps as you can because when the ink starts to spread using the water, it'll spread out from those points and you'll get a really nice like marbly effect in it, or like a tie-dye effect, and it's actually really cool. I'm going to fill in these gaps with a bit of red. And I think I've got a little bit of yellow that I can put in in the middle where there's a little bit of a gap. So I'll do that on this one. There we go. So I'll just pop this to one side and I will quickly do my second filter. I'll do something similar because it's easy enough to do various shapes and stuff like that. But I'm going to start off with some orange in the middle this time. Do a really big spiral. And I'm going to do a red spiral inside that as well. And hopefully when the water goes on this I'll get a nice patterned effect with those two colours mixing together. So I'm going to do big squiggly bits. And some big spirally bits again. Like I said, you will have way more time than I do to make this. I'm sure yours will be much more interesting, much more intricate. I'm gonna put a little, I'm gonna try and use every single colour that I have just because I might as well use as many colours as possible. And I've got a few gaps on these bits, so they're gonna get a little squiggle. And I think that is almost about right. Well it's enough for now. I'm sure you will 
be making much more interesting ones than I am. Now the next thing to do for me, I need to grab my blue tray. So I'm going to just move this and pop the blue tray down. Just like that. It's ready to go. Now there's a few different ways you can do this. I'm going to pour the water over very, very carefully, but you can always use a dropper. Um, you could use a straw, which I'm going to, I'll show you how to do in a minute. Um, you can also use a spray bottle if you have one lying around that can be used for this. So if you're going to drop it on using a straw, I'll pop that out. I won't leave it in there because otherwise it will get covered in water. But all you need to do is put your finger over one end of the straw when it's in the water. So I'll put it in, put my finger over one end, and then I've got water in the straw, which is perfect for pouring out. And this is why it's a very good idea to have some sort of tray to do this over, because otherwise the water will get everywhere and I'll be in lots of trouble for getting water in everyone's houses. So you'll see that the colours are starting to merge a little bit already. And that's why the coffee filters are great for this, because it really spreads that water out. Now, you'll see there's some dry bits, but they're starting to soak up. I'm just going to lift that up and flip it over just to get any extra bits of water. You'll see there's some water left in the bottom of here, so you can actually just kind of drag your filter through slightly. It should soak up those last little bits of water. And now we'll do the other one as well. Now, luckily, there is a little bit of water already in the basin, so that will soak up a little bit straight off the bat. And then this one, you drop a bit of water in, and a bit more, and just a little bit more in various bits and bobs. And you'll see it's starting to spread all that lovely colour. Now, I've got a big puddle of water there, so I'm actually just going to lift mine up and turn it around to try and spread as much of this water as possible without soaking the entire tray. And if when you're doing the last little bits, you can hold your thumb on, but you can make sure that the water is just at the end of your straw. And if you tap the filter, the filter will soak all that water out and it starts to soak in. Now, it will take a little while to dry you can use like a hair dryer or something like that to try and dry it a bit faster, which is what I'm going to do. Just make sure you get a bit of permission before you start using people's hair dryers. And I will get back once these are dry to show you what to do next. Okay, see you in a minute. Welcome back. So as you can see, I've dried both of my filters and they're ready to be made into butterfly wings. Now for this, I'm going to also need my right pipe cleaner to be the antenna. Now the best way to do this is to decide which one you want as your top wing and which one you want as your bottom wing. I think I'm going to use this one as my bottom wing and this one as my top wing. So if you grab your bottom wing first and just carefully gather up, kind of fold it in on itself like you're making a fan, you'll see it starts to come with your fingers it starts to bend and almost make a little wing shape. Just like that. Now, I'm going to grab the pipe cleaner and just tuck it under there. And fold it up, just to hold that in place for now while I get the other one sorted. Doesn't matter if it moves slightly because we'll be sorting that out in just a second. We'll do the same with the top wing. We'll fold it all the way up. And again, it'll curve into our fingers. Just like that. And this one slides in on top. And the best way to hold this is actually just to give it a little twist. So you hold both bits of the pipe cleaner together Twist them just a two or three times should do it. 
and that at least holds them together. Then you can muddle the, the wings around just to make sure that they look right, just like that. There we go. And once they're muddled around, they're ready to be fixed in place. They're already like that. All you need to do now is to roll these. If you have a pencil nearby, you can always use that. And just roll these up. Not too much. Doesn't need to be all the way down, but just a little bit. And then you can uncurl it slightly and you can get a lovely little curl at the top there. And we'll do that with the other side as well. So we'll just roll that up, take the pencil out, and then carefully unroll it again. And there we go, that is a very quick and easy but very pretty coffee filter butterfly. And what, as, as it dries fully, the colours will go a bit, a bit more pastely, and it can be hung up or put um, somewhere like on a plant inside or something like that. There's lots of things you can do with these lovely butterflies. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you join us again soon for another episode of Crafting a Home. Thank you very much.